Hello everybody and welcome to MNJ Games. I am Michael. Now today we are going to look at another tutorial in this series and this one is going to be about putting lights on the coaster. And I plan on doing more tutorials. I haven't done one in a while because my wife and I have been busy with other types of videos that we've been doing. But I want to do things like, you know, making a station, um, transfer tracks, stuff like that with it, and then other stuff with buildings. And, I, you know, I kind of really like this layout, how it ended up turning out, kind of making it. I think it's really cool, at least in my opinion. I like when you look from this side, how it's kind of, they're kind of angled towards each other. If you know what I'm saying, this kind of goes and comes back, but it comes back at a slightly, not quite 90 degrees um but yeah so as you see it's really dark right and so it's pretty pretty straightforward how to put lights on the coaster um or on the transfer track whatever you're wanting to put lights on but the key is you've got to have um collision turned off so first thing you need to do is go to settings and you go over sometimes i always forget which one it's under so you go under to uh, this one here and you go down to disable coaster collisions and i've got it on and so what that does is that allows coasters to be placed through existing scenery or terrain, um, ride collision, you got to have that on, it allows rides to be placed and so forth. And so the reason why it's important and why I keep these on is so that um, I can build my coaster through something essentially or put something on my coaster and then change it if I have to later. So now what I, what I tend to do, and some of this just gets a little, little bit tedious, like it's not perfect, everybody's got a different way for doing this. Um, but I like doing the, what is it, the lights that, um, I can't find it, there we go. Yeah, I want I like doing the lights that stand up. Um, and now you might design your coaster and add in some extra supports and stuff that work perfectly for this. But what I like doing is I like doing this, this one right here. And normally I'll either color it to the coaster or I'll kind of color it black. Um, so this coaster is kind of a little bit orange. So you could do something... Like, I don't really like that, so I'm just going to keep it black. And then, you know, you could do this kind of the orange color if you wanted to, or, you know, black or gray is kind of usually good colors to go with, in my opinion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply take this, and now you could um, turn, you know, line to surface and so forth. The reason why I don't do it is because, for this, is because I want the light to be straight up and down. If you don't do that, the light is going to be turned... Um, to where it's not straight up and down because it's going to be based on um, you know the surface you're trying to put it on and so sometimes down here this gets a little messed up sometimes so see right there it's not quite perfect so what I need to do first before I place anything down is I'm going to try to turn this to where it's it might not be perfect but trying to get as close as possible so sometimes you got to kind of inch it a little bit and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop this in the ride now something like that, right? So I place it, and then, which that looks to be semi good. So now you can do move snap, and I like doing move snap and going um, two units that way. So now I'm gonna take move snap off, and the reason I'm taking it off here is because I want to get the height perfect, okay? And then now I'm just gonna move it over just a little bit and so forth, right? So then I move the move snap on, and I do it again. I go over, um, so really I go over eight meters, and then now when I go up, I'm gonna turn that off, and so forth. Now you can do four meters, it's really whatever works for you. So there's a consistency going up the lift chain now, right? So sometimes you can copy them. I'm gonna do uh, another one. So over one, up, then we're gonna go up. So you see how it's it's moved slightly right, so I'm just gonna move it a little bit left again. So now what I'm gonna do is, since I've got three of them right here that work out well, I'm just going to combine these. Didn't mean to get the coaster in that. So now I'm going to group the scenery and then move it that way. So again, I'm turning move snap on. Now this time, I don't just move it two times, because that lines those up there. I need to actually move it six times. And then now I can go up. And that's actually, that might actually be perfect. Uh, nope, probably. Yeah, it's a little bit elevated. So now I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit. 
And now you see, here's the one mistake is those two up there. Okay, so the mistake I made here looks like, yeah, those are going through. So I got to raise this up a little bit is when I did that one down there, I guess the incline wasn't quite the exact same degrees. So I might need to mess with, um, so those two are good up, to, up there, but then I need to mess with this one a little bit and I'm just gonna click on it, go down to advanced move and I'm just gonna shift it down. So remember, this is not, this is not a perfect world, right? Like this is the game that has things that people figured out how to do that wasn't necessarily designed for. Oops, sorry. These, can, these uh, zooming in and out controls sometimes can be terrible. But all right, so I'm just going to do one more because we don't have too many more to do. So I'm just going to do one at a time. Uh, so we got one, two. And then now I'll probably do one more at the top of the lift hill. So let's see if that works out. Yeah, so it's not going to be perfect in terms of the distance away, which is fine. I mean... Most of the time, it's, unless it's something that's just really off, that's something you really don't notice much. Um, yeah. So now, if you zoom out, which, there we go, let me get off the building. So now you have lights on the lift hill. And, I mean, it's not perfect, but, you know, it's this kind of like at a theme park, right? You just kind of get to see the, the lift hill lit up a little bit. And I think that looks really nice. So I try to do this to all my coasters right now. And then I'll also do the same thing down here. And this one is a little bit easier because you're not having to, you're not going up a, um, it's not elevated, right? <laughs> Sorry, I was struggling for my words there for a second. Um, so this one, let's see. I'm just going to go up here. And I definitely need to change the alignment a little bit. So I'm going to go here and I'm just going to, like I said, try to make it as straight as possible. Um, so normally what I would do is I would start on this one that's closest right here because I don't want to do the one right by the station because I got the station there. So I'm going to copy that. And then instead of going over a certain amount, I'll kind of count these. So I might go over two because you can kind of see those little ridges. So I go over two. You know, it's not anything overly complicated. It's just a little bit tedious sometimes when you got to do this to multiple roller coasters. And if you create a giga coaster and it's 300 feet tall, <laughs> so this kind of ended up working out perfectly. So now what you have is you have your um, little brake run lit up. So that's the that's the tutorial for today. I would love to hear your response. Um, if anybody else does anything different, I would love to hear it. Um, do you guys? use any different types of lights because I know some people like creating their own little um, little box and they'd use the box lights um, but I'd love to hear your response remember as always please make sure and hit that like button if you enjoy the video and hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date for more Planet Coaster content and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day